is some good news this afternoon. We do have team coverage. Way 31 Sydney Martin has now seen the hardest hit areas firsthand. She's live in Beauregard to show us some of that devastation. Sydney. Dan Naja, Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall and I walked these roads earlier today looking at the devastation. As you can see, just about everything along this county road is destroyed. The truck behind me that you're seeing right now, Marshall told me one of the victims lost his life driving down the road in it when the tornado hit. The pictures just don't capture how somber it is when you see the devastation left behind. We learned today this is where the epicenter of the EF4 tornado touched down. Wind in this area reached 170 miles per hour. Marshall told me he's never seen storm damage like what's left behind here in Lee County. Just been on the ground in this area, but but obviously you can see, you know, completely where trailers have, have almost exploded, where frames are mangled, and you just see the you know the, the sadness of the destruction that's taking place here. Marshall told us this was his first visit to the area since the tornadoes came through on Sunday. You're now looking at video from Way 31 Sky Tracker of the state trooper's house that was ripped off its foundation during the tornado. Marshall told me they're headed to visit him in the hospital after leaving here at last check. Sergeant Robert Burroughs was in the ICU. Now, I also asked Marshall today if he's going to be here on Friday when President Trump comes to visit the area. He told me he doesn't know right now. Live in Lee County, Alabama, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Sydney. Marshall told us his office is making sure survivors and people who want to help are not being scammed. So far, his office has no reports of anyone with bad intentions.